Using the cursor, change the cursor appearance to the ERBL cursor by a series of right clicks in the chart display area and click on any object in the chart to determine the bearing and range from the own ship. This will be displayed in the ERBL information window. Second click. After a second click on the left button, the cursor changes to the second form of the graphic cursor. Move the cursor to the selected point of interest to get the bearing and range based on the centered point. The ERBL display. Change the data in the ERBL display by pressing Tab to edit the position or bearing and range manually. Use the arrows or cursor to select the input fields. Confirm your input with Enter and finish with Apply. The EBL VRM window. The EBL VRM window is intended for activating and adjusting two independent EBL VRMs. Click on EBL1 button and enter the value of bearing in the input field. Then press Enter to display the EBL in the chart display area. The same procedure will be followed with VRM1 activation. If it's necessary to use additional EBL VRM, click the EBL VRM2 tab and activate it in the same way with EBL VRM1. The EBL VRM Display Control Panel. To set the base point of the first EBL VRM pair relative to the ship's position, click on Offset button. The base point will become stationary and bearing and distance will be specified in the EBL and VRM boxes. If it's required that the EBL VRM center moves in accordance with the own ship, release the fixed radio button. Hardware Control Panel The EBL and VRM buttons on the keyboard can also be used to adjust the values. Quick Distance Tool The Quick Distance Tool can be accessed from the Chart Panel Bar. You can select either Rum Line or Great Circle to measure a distance. Then the cursor will change to the graphic cursor and you can select the first point on the chart. Left click there and then repeat it for as many points as necessary. The distance from one point to the next will be displayed in a text box together with the bearing and the total distance. End the function with a right click or the cancel button. Enter coordinates manually. Coordinates can also be entered manually. Select the tool and press the tab button to access the text boxes. The bearing, opposite bearing and range are displayed below the coordinates. Alternatively, you can enter bearing and distance and the coordinates of the second point will be automatically displayed.